how I plan my meals and grocery shop. So today I'm going to be showing you what my grocery shopping process looks like. I'm going to try to film a little bit in the grocery store, but I'm a little nervous to do that. I don't even know if we're like allowed to do that. Uh, so we'll see what we can get but mainly I'm going to be showing you how I kind of prepare my grocery list and then also what a grocery haul for me looks like so the first step of this whole process is actually writing down my grocery list so that I know what items I need to be getting and in order to do that I have multiple different steps that I'm going to be sharing with you right now so the first thing I do is I look through my fridge and my cupboard to see what I already have in there and that will tell me like what recipes I can make from that what I'm missing all of that so I'm gonna give that a look And so the next thing I do is I look for some recipe ideas. So I look through some cookbooks. I also scroll through Pinterest to kind of see if there's anything inspiring on there. And then I also look through different apps that I have. Or I kind of just remember, <laughs> remind myself of different recipes that I had recently that I liked, that I feel like eating again. And I do this whole process. And then every time there is an ingredient that I'm missing that I need, I add that to a list that I have on my phone where I write down all my groceries and I can just tick them off whenever I buy them and then at the end I can reset everything so I don't have to make an entire list every single time I can just add the ingredients that I'm missing and then just tick off the ones that I already have so I really like this I'll be leaving the link to this app in the description not sponsored at all just something I like to use Do you feel like you're always going on different types of diet plans but nothing seems to work? Do you feel like you can't control yourself around food and that your food obsession is taking up all of your energy and time? Do you wish you could build healthy eating habits that actually last without restricting yourself from any of your favorite foods? and saying goodbye to dieting forever. I put together a free training that covers the eight steps you need to take in order to figure out healthy eating for good. In this training, you'll learn about which foods you should be having for optimal health, which ones you should be avoiding also, and the quantities in which you should be having them. You'll also learn why you need to incorporate the less healthy foods that you love into your diet and how you can do that. You'll learn how mindful and intuitive eating can massively help your healthy eating habits. You'll learn about the relationship with food you need to have for lasting results and more. So make sure you check out the link for that in the description. You have nothing to lose and everything to win. Now back to the video. So I'm back from grocery shopping. I laid out everything here and I'm gonna give you a little tour of what I bought and then tell you what kind of recipes I like to use them in. So here, a little overview of everything that I got. I tried to organize it a little bit depending on like the category, so I'm gonna explain that. And I also, this is like the grocery haul for one week approximately for one person. And I will be maybe ordering out one day or like eating out one other day. Um, but globally, this is what I'm gonna eat throughout the week. So if I start out right here, I have like all the fruit and vegetables. So first thing, dates, I love to have them as snacks or as like quick little desserts. I also like to put like almond butter in them or um, cashew nut butter. I didn't buy that because I already had some left. Um, so I have like a mango, two onions uh, to add like taste to the recipes. I have a grapefruit. I usually have that in the morning. Like I have half a grapefruit on some mornings. Then I have some plums, some pears. Here I have some beans and also some asparagus. This is why I always tell you like I get them canned. It's so much easier. It still tastes really good. It's really easy. I just drain them and then put them in the microwave, salt and pepper, and I'm good to go. Um, then I also have some zucchini. 
So for this, I'm probably going to be making a like zucchini risotto with these. I have some risotto rice, like rice for risotto, um, left in my in my cabinets, so I didn't buy that. But I specifically bought the zucchini with that in mind. Um, so some cherry tomatoes, I love to have them as a starter. And this I love to have as a starter as well. It's like a mix of carrot, celery, um, and cabbage. And this is super easy. I just add some like olive oil to it and then have that. Um, some avocado, and this is actually for a recipe. I'm gonna be talking about that recipe later. A pepper, this is also like a recipe, a really easy thing that I make. I make pepper um, with some onions and then zucchini, because I'm only gonna eat use one for the risotto and then the other one is going to be for like this pepper and onion kind of mix that I make and then I have that with like quinoa and it's like really really good and easy and I have a cucumber this is also for a big salad that I have in mind that is going to require some cucumbers and also I can have that as a starter as well sorry sometimes I'm like moving up you're not seeing everything okay so I'm gonna go back right in front here so I have some tofu this one is so easy I just cut it up and have it um, as like a side kind of protein to my meals or I cut it up and have it in salads. Then I do have some cheese, like different cheeses. These are for recipes. Like this one is for the risotto. Um, and then this is when I have like pasta, I like to put grated cheese on there. I still haven't found vegan cheese that tastes good and not like plasticky. So let me know if you have good ones. Then I have some eggs, same. This is usually for recipes, like for cakes, things like that, or quiches. I don't usually eat eggs on their own. Then I have some cashew nuts. Again, for a recipe, I'm making a big salad. It's the same one with the cucumber. I'm gonna put like quinoa, cucumber, the, the cashews, and then I have like dried figs, uh, um, some tomatoes, and like some mint leaves, things like that. But then I have some chocolate. This I like to have either on its own as a snack or I put it in my oatmeal. It's like really good. I just let it melt in there. It's like super, super good. And so then moving on to here. So this is some plant-based vanilla soy yogurt. It's really, really good. And I have that for breakfast sometimes with some fruit or I have that for breakfast with some granola or as like a little dessert. And then some vanilla soy milk that I have with my oatmeal. For breakfast or just as a as a drink I usually like drink one of these a week not more I don't have that much then I have some red lentils and this is like my favorite recipe that I make all the time so I have some red lentils I use this coconut cream um, and then I have some cherry tomatoes that are right over here with some like um, tomato pulp and I just like do all of that and then I put some brown rice with it and then I also put the avocado right here like <laughs> An avocado and it's like such a very like such an easy delicious meal that I make like every week so the tomato pulp I use for that or like for other kinds of dishes um, and then I have some chickpeas so either I make hummus from these or I put them in salads I also have some white beans these I also love to have like as a side if I make like a vegetable and then this it's really really easy both carb and protein source that it's super easy to make and same thing with red beans I also like to make this mix with like these beans and also like this tomato pulp and I just mix that together and I use that again as like a little side dish then I make some bulgur with it maybe and then have um, one of like the starters that I talked about this or this and it's like again super easy and then for grains I got this whole wheat uh, spaghetti and I also got some um, oats so these I usually have with like some cheese or some like tofu and the tomato pulp or something like that and then this is for breakfast i make like the big oatmeal bowls that you've probably seen if you watch my what i eat in a day and then i didn't buy that many grains because i already had some so let me see if i can show you well you can't really see but basically i have like couscous over here so i'm gonna use that as well and then i have quinoa right here and brown rice right here um, so that's the stuff that I already had and then I had the cashew nut butter and another thing I already had that I didn't buy was bread I use this bread um, for breakfast in the morning I put some cashew nut butter on it or some like cream cheese or something 
and that's enough for a week for me because that's not the only thing I have for breakfast so that's why I didn't buy any of that either and then the last thing I bought that I put in the freezer right away because I didn't want it to go bad I bought some split pea like puree it's already mashed but there's like nothing added to it and when I don't know what to make I can just have this and like a rice or like some type of grain and then some tomatoes and call it like a healthy balanced meal and there's also a carrot one um, same thing but with carrots right in here so usually what happens is I don't really buy like treat foods or um, junkier type processed foods really often but I do have them from time to time obviously so sometimes I buy them sometimes I'm feeling like buying like M&Ms and I get that or like cookies and I get that but it's not like uh, a regular occurrence that I actually have that it's not like uh, something regular that I put on my grocery list um, but also I I would say at least like twice a week I go to a restaurant or I eat out or I um, like order takeout or I just like walk down the street and I see like this delicious pastries that I have to buy because it looks so good and then I get that so again just because you're not seeing any of that type of food here doesn't mean I never eat it don't worry you can absolutely eat these foods and still have a healthy balanced meal and way of eating in general and also I run out of like fresh fruit and veggies pretty quickly because they tend to go bad if I don't eat them pretty quickly so it's pretty often that throughout the week I'm just gonna go back to the grocery store and just pick up a few different items and sometimes I go to like this organic store where I can get like more tofu but yeah pretty much this is a week of groceries so I really hope that you enjoyed this video that I gave you some insight on what it's like to grocery shop in Paris as a nutritionist and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one bye